everyone! Today, we are going to learn how to play boche. But first, let us define kung ano nga ba ang larong boche. Boche is an ancient game with its modern adaptation most closely resembling bowling. It is one of the most popular Paralympic sports event in the Palarong Pambansa exclusively designed for learners with disabilities or LWD. This game requires skill, strategy, as well as a little bit of luck. The objective of the sport is to roll the bocce ball closest to a target ball called the jack or also known as the palina. The court surface of the bocce court may be composed of carpet, clay, grass, or artificial surface, provided there is no permanent or temporary obstruction in the court that would interfere with the straight-line delivery of a ball from any direction. These are the measurements of the bocce court. The court is an area of 3.66 meters or 12 feet wide by 18.29 meters or 60 feet long. The following are the roles of the technical officials in the bocce game. First, we have the official or the line judge. The line judge will stand beside the throwing line. Second is the court assistant or the flag person. The flag person will stand in line with the 30-foot mid-court line. Third is the referee or the head official. The referee will stand in line with 50-foot line and when the frame starts, the referee will stand in line with the palina. The following officials also plays an important role in the game. The assistant timekeeper, the timekeeper, and the scorer. This is the on-court demo of the positions of the technical officials. For the proper attire of players, the player must wear a closed toe footwear or rubber shoes, jogging pants or playing shorts, and for the tops, he or she may wear a comfortable clothes or athletic uniform. Players will dress in a manner which will serve to bring credit to them and to the sport of boche. Players will not be permitted to wear shoes which may damage or disrupt the court surface. Also, players will not be permitted to play without shoes. Ito naman ang mga kailangan nating gamitin sa paglalaro ng larong ito.
Ngayong alam na natin ang iba't ibang equipment sa paglalaro, ating alamin naman ang iba't ibang skills na kailangan nating matutunan sa paglalaro ng larong ito. For the delivery of ball, using the underhand throw, always be reminded that the ball should be released below the waist. The following are the wrong way of ball delivery. The game begins with a toss coin between the two players or the two captains coming from the different team to determine which player or team will play with which color and who has the palina advantage. The winner may choose the end from which play will start or the first toss of the palina, and the loser chooses the color of the team's boche ball. The starting player of each prey may toss the palina any distance as long as the palina passes the center line and is at least 12 inches from the end line of the opposite side. The team who throws the palina first will also throw the first boche ball. The team possessing the palina will have 3 attempts at placing the palina beyond the 30-foot mark and before the 50-foot mark on the opposite end. If these three attempts are unsuccessful, the opposing team will have one opportunity to place the palina. If this attempt is unsuccessful, the referee will place the palina in the center of the court at the 40-foot mark, opposite end foul line. The person that tosses the palina must deliver the first boche ball. These are the common faults na maaaring makumit ng isang malalaro sa larong ito. Number 1 The Foot Fault Fault is called when the foremost part of the 10-feet throw line will be surpassed by any part of the player's foot or any apparatus used by an athlete such as wheelchair, crutches, cane, and etc. Number 2 The Wrong Color Delivery Wrong Color Delivery Fault is called when the player throws the ball assigned to the opposing team. Number 3 Incorrect Rotation of Play In this scenario, the red bocce ball is the one nearest to the palina, so the next throw should be made by the player from the red team. But the player from the blue team did the third throw, so a fault was called. Number 4 Coaching from the inside and the outside of the court For double or team play, discussions among athletes is prohibited once the athlete steps into the court. A fault will also be called if the coach of the athlete steps into the court while the game is on play. 
Discussion with any athletes and or partner is prohibited during the game. So no coaching is permitted from the sidelines. That includes the players, team's coach, family, and the spectators. The Measuring In measuring the distance between the boche and the palina, place the zero end of the tape measure at the center base of the boche ball. Pull the measuring tape back until it is directly above the palina. Record the distance in centimeters. The scoring. The official score for frame is determined after all eight balls have been played and measured to the captain's satisfaction. One point is awarded for each ball of a team that is closer to the palina than the opponent's closest ball. The score can be 1 to 4 points. The team that scores in the last frame throws the palina in the next frame and play continues as above. If each team's closest balls are tied, no score is made and play continues at the opposite end with the team scoring the points in the previous frame delivering the palina. When the balls have been played, this concludes the frame and one is awarded a single point for each of its balls, which is closer to the palina than the closest opposing team's ball. Thus, a team may score up 4 points per frame. Only one team scores per frame. Ibang rules sa paglalaro ng larong poche. Handa na ba kayong maglaro? Tara!